hi guys today we will discuss about astrology as we know that it has two branches mathematical astrology and predictive astrology mathematical astrology deals with mathematical approaches which is beyond our scope of study the second aspect is predictive astrology so we some take view on predictive astrology as very well known to all that astrology is the product of ancient india Baramihir, Lagad, Aryabhat are known as the astrologers. So it is also known as Horashastra which gives the word horoscope by Greeks. So we will discuss about horoscope or Horashastra. You know that there are 12 houses in the horoscope. Ascendant is the first house. Second house, third house, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and so on, up to twelve house. Twenty-seven nakshatras are there, and Rashi is there. Everyone knows that every person has his own Rashi. So it is the structure of the birth chart. Now, from the birth chart, we can make the D2 chart, D3 chart, D4 chart, D5 chart, D6 chart, D7 chart, D8, D9, D10, D16, D30, D60 and so on. We can make several charts by mathematical computation. So every chart deals with a specific study of the particular event. For example, marriage issues are discussed in D9 chart in detail. D10 deals with career. Okay, D7 deals with child and children and so on. D2 chart deals with money. So first of all we need D1 chart that is known as the ascendant chart or lagna chart. On the basis of D1 chart, we can make any chart and we can make detailed description of a particular person's horoscope. So D1 is important. Okay, 12 houses are there. First house is for your body. Second is for your relatives and uh, money and your speech. How house number three is deals with communication four is house or your own house property vehicles problems fifth house is going for marriage and education sixth house is going from job and uh, some other things also like diseases seventh house deals with money marriage and partnership eighth house deals with science and technology in your brain and uh, house of death also ninth house is house of religion tenth house is house of career status eleventh house deals with income profit twelfth house deals with expenditure foreign travels earning from foreign countries and imprisonment etc so these are the twelfth houses we can make predictions on the basis of planets nakshatras and Rashis okay nine Rashis sorry nine planets and twelve Rashis in Indian astrology moon is taken as a very important role in our ancient Indian astrology unlike Western astrology which focus on Sun is that clear so in astrology we have hundreds of yogs like Gajakesri Yog, Buddha Aditya Yog, Lakshmi Yog, etc. These yogs have specific attributes, specific properties, but degrees of planets are also considered very important. Okay, so we will check degrees of planets, relative strength of the planets, conjunctions of the planets in a particular house, and uh, nakshatra is also taken into account there are 27 nakshatras so all these things are taken all together for the predictive purpose okay 
Now, for example, if we take Gachkesri Yoga, it comes from the spatial conjunction of Moon and Jupiter. But degrees are degrees are absolutely important in the effectiveness of Gachkesri Yoga. If Jupiter and Moon possesses same degree or a difference with less than one degree or two degree or three degree it shows different results for a particular person for example in the horoscope the ex prime minister or first prime minister of our india jawaharlal nehru had gaj kesri yog and their moon and uh, jupiter have same degree in their horoscope that is why he has a great preacher writer and become the prime minister of india so degrees are important okay we have to check the degrees of the planets and the positions of the planets also whether it is retro retrograde or non retrograde or combust or non combust these things are also shows their specific results on a particular horoscope okay now i think it is clear to you about ancient indian astrology and in subsequent videos i will explain some other concepts like what will happen if the lord of first house is placed in second third fourth or etc up to 12th house lord of 12th house lord of 9th 10th 7th 6th etc etc so these things are considered in particular horoscope for example if you take some horoscopes you can easily understand these things so please like my video share this video and keep watching my videos i will explain later you till then bye